All right. We'll just start from the beginning. Remember most of the sizes. I don't necessarily remember them all. Right, I'm gonna fire it up so I can turn that wheel. assembly bolts out and yes I know you can turn the key on and you can move that back and forth yes I know that but do you know that if you do do that uh, you get a lot of air in the lines and that makes it a pain in the butt and you possibly will have to uh, bleed your power steering pump this way, you don't have to worry about it. You know what, we have air. Let's uh, pad. I don't know if you can see that the video, but it makes it kind of nice on my old knees. back and forth a little bit, ease it out, Just ease it slow, be cautious, be careful, um, and here's your gasket, let me see where the camera's focused, um, alright, so here's your gasket, see that brown, they give you a new gasket in the uh, seal kit, we'll get it pulled off, and then here's your o-ring for replacement. And then your grease points, you can put grease in here, here, and here. Those are your grease points. So you want to make sure that you grease that back up so your, your uh, lockout works properly. Get a light. Oh, no, no. And you have to use a special pair of, uh, what you call it? 
goes back to outside. Uh, snapping fire, sorry. Sitting here thinking. I'm not good at thinking and doing it at the same time. And I mean, they're not necessarily special. They're just big. Uh, these happen to be snap-on because I used to be a, a mechanic, but here's a big ring. That's going to be fairly simple to get out. Let's see if we can sneak into this style hub without having that steering wheel turn. It's probably going to be tight. I don't know. No, we'll just turn it. Give me a second. Those are 21 millimeter, uh, 13 sixteenths is just uh, ever so slightly smaller than a 21 mil. I thought I grabbed a 21 mil, I grabbed a 13 sixteenths. So we'll see if we can get in there at the straight deep well. And if not, I'll go get my shallow 21. Maybe we can put our impact mold on it. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so bear with me. But I've done more of them than what most people have probably seen. Being at the dealer, obviously, you do a lot of the same, same, same over and over again. size that is for your speed sensor here yes you can unclip it unplug it and all that you take a chance of your plug up there getting messed up I've kind of found in the past tweak that guy up a little bit not gonna hurt a thing you put it back uh, that might be a Torx that is a Torx we've the seen Torx is what we were I think so no Give me a second. Used. Call it age, call it worked on too many. I haven't worked on them and I mean, I work on my own, but uh, I haven't worked on the same vehicle repeatedly for quite a while. And all right, well, I did it to myself. I told you guys, generally it's not a pain. It was a pain. truck was used as a pile truck last year. I mean, it's not real rusty underneath here. Uh, somebody's been in here before. Because this thing's really 
tore up back here. I didn't do all this, I can guarantee you. Anyways, and here's your actual staff. Probably not gonna be able to get. Oh yeah. That seal's going plaster. As you can tell, it's what's wet. But the only reason I say that is I did it for a brief second and I have play in these U-joints and it did slide the U-joints out. So we'll try it. I've got the vise holding it. I'm on it with a dead blow. Oh. Over the edge here. They had some fancy jig set up and maybe that's what I need. My vice is a second hand, that's all it's doing. I don't know if I love that. Because you don't want to bend your yokes up on your axles. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. Get in the frame. That's moving. It'd be nice if that would. There's no easy way to do U joints. I've seen one guy before. I thought he was crazy. He literally took a torch. And uh, that joint really didn't look bad. And I hope that other one's all seized up and nasty. Um, all right, let's leave them. That one was like that. Not that it should matter, but we'll mark it so it's clocked anywhere, somewhere. We'll do that. Give me two reference points in case one comes off or something. Get too abusive or something. Um, um, um. And I like working on wood. Um, that, that helps a lot. What do we want to do? It'd be different if I did this every day. I haven't had to do this in quite a while, guys. It's been kind of nice, actually. Here's our second hand. This fits on there nicely, but. Second hand, I guess it'd be a third hand. Is that moving? I don't really think so. Trying to get it to move at this point. It moved. Just trying to get it loosened up a little bit. Not trying to go crazy. I ain't hitting it real hard. But when you're doing this type of stuff, it's real nice to work on wood like this. It's not so not so hard as a shock to it. At least I find, and that's what the that's what the driveline company had. So what they had is they had a six by six or maybe an eight by eight. I think it was oak. It had a channel 
dug out in it to where you could sit that in there and it kind of had a strap on it so you could keep this from like going around and that's kind of your third hand like what I'm doing with the vise. And then they had a hole bored all the way through it to where they could have that laid in there. Any size joint, it had a big hole here, a chain on it. I think it was like an eight by eight, this is six by six. Um, and it just had a big hole in it to where it would kind of half cradle this. And over the time, it kind of massaged it into where it was about the same size as, you know, most of the drive line they did. And then uh, when they put it together, they had, and they literally used, you know, just a piece of like three quarter or one inch cold rolled or something to help manipulate some of it. it. The side of it was opened up, whatever. You can make up your own jig or something. But that's when I got the idea of using wood. I was like, well, heck. We'll do that, and that way it's, uh, you know, it's not as abusive on the joint. It kind of gives a little bit, or on the on the yoke, rather, because you don't want to spread these yokes or anything. Then your joint's not going to fit right. Should have taken this to my buddy. He's probably got all the tricks in the book. He's a... Uh, He's a uh, service, uh, mobile service guy now. But I'm sure he does joints all the time. Heck, I haven't done a U-joint. I don't know, I haven't had to do a U-joint in quite a while. Anyways, there's our reference. See, we marked it twice, only got one left. So, let's get our new joint. These are what you call sir clips. They're circle clips. Sir clips internal, meaning they go on the internal part of the yoke. These are your yokes. I hate working with gloves. Absolutely hate working with gloves. Uh, let's see, what was I gonna get? Grease. General purpose. Uh, Multi-purpose grease. I'm gonna see what it looks like in there. If it looks like it has plenty, I'm probably not gonna mess with getting any more in it. A lot of times, I mean, it's more so with a greasable joint from what I find. And you want to be careful with this. I don't know if I've got you in frame or not. You want to be careful separating that. Let me grab that little pry bar. Because you don't want to go pulling with all your might. Because if you do that and you lose all your, all your needle bearings, it's a bad day. There it goes. All right, guys. Well, from my Ford days, <laughs> this is actually a tool that Ford gave us uh, with seals. And you can see it's literally ABS pipe. It's, huh, well, this is three inch PVC. Maybe ABS is smaller, I don't remember. Um, I don't know, let's see, we'll be fine. So we have to drive on this surface. I might actually use this because this actually fits a little better. Um, but literally this is what they gave us to drive seals. It's a piece of ABS with a cap. Granted, I don't have a cap for this three inch PVC, but you ought to be fine. It's not, I mean, it is critical that you don't, uh, that you don't get this kind of swelled up, if you will. But usually, Probably gonna have to clamp that in there on that flange. I was trying to make it easier to where I could manipulate it for the camera. That started that pretty good. Let's just go ahead and and I have two vices. I already have the camera out here, so I wasn't really gonna worry about moving moving into there. I keep this vice kind of clamped to a table. So if I need to use it on a table, we're good. Um, 
but if I need it somewhere kind of like this, when I was using it there for a third hand, and I just, it's not super tight, but uh, literally, I ought to be able to drive this with this PVC, because as you can see, that's basically what Ford gave us. Try to be even. Doesn't look like I'm going on even. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Notice I'm using a dead blow. Less detrimental to the seal. You don't want to mess up this seal. It's an expensive girl. This one because it fits on the inside of that and it has a cap. There we go. She's drove on. And you want it to bounce like that. Looks like she's drove all the way down. Looks uh Kiss it a little bit with this. Make sure. I think it's down. The spice not being clamped to something's kind of cumbersome. I don't want to bend the flames of that seal, if at all possible. Nope. I say it looks good. That's all, folks. So I like the. The three inch ABS probably, maybe it's two and a half. It almost fits inside the three inch. It does fit inside the three inch. So maybe they make a two and a half inch ABS, I don't know. But anyways, this is physically the, the seal driver that Ford gave us and it actually hits the inside of that flange so it worked better than that three inch because the three inch was hitting on the outside. I was afraid it was gonna bend it. So, well that's, that's ready to go back in. And let me show you this over here real quick. I'm probably not going to video it. But see how this kind of looks crappy? You don't want it to look crappy. So what I do is I spray it with WD-40, PB Blaster. Uh, you could probably brake clean it. You can take a real fine sandpaper, 220 or so, possibly. I use Scotch-Brite or emery cloth. But you could do whatever you want. You could use a wire brush. A uh, wire brush on a drill. Actually, that might be what I use. Um, but anyways, you want to clean that rust up a little bit because there's a machine flange right here that that seal goes on. You want to make sure it gets a good seal. Out here is not as pertinent because it's kind of tapered off, but this is actually a machine seal that that big seal goes into. I'll put a little bit of grease around the outside of it just to get it to seat in nice. Uh, nothing major at all, just a very, very skim coat. You could put Vaseline on it, um, at whatever. But uh, I'm not going to worry about videoing it and putting it back together is literally reverse of taking it apart. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. If I get the other side apart and it's like dead solid, crazy, locked up U-joint and something you guys might want to see, I'll go ahead and video that. Otherwise, this will be the end of the video. So I hope you got something out of it. Um, I always try to fix all my own stuff. Like I say, I, at least I know who worked on it what what shape it's in i can look at everything else um anyways so hopefully that helped out guys and hopefully this fixes it i hope i really do hope that i take the other side apart and i've got a locked up u-joint anyways thanks for watching um like i said if the other side's locked up we'll be back thanks all right y'all let's show you what a bad u-joint looks like See that critter just standing there? <laughs> oh boy. So, what it's supposed to do is that. What it's not supposed to do is stand there by itself. I don't know how that thing, I don't know how that pickup ever turned. I mean, I do, you know, hydraulic lever, I, I mean, it, 
I understand how it did, but that's a bad you joint. That's gonna fix that truck. No ifs, ands, or buts. That'll fix the truck. I figured I'd show you that. That's, that's a pretty good one. That stands straight up on its own. And that baby is rusty, rusty. The other one didn't look horrible at all, but let's just go ahead and start soaking this girl now. All my ball joints look good. Um, I was gonna show you something else too. So, let's see, let me get you in here. Where are you guys at? Okay. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. So, see that? My four wheel drive doesn't work in this truck. That's a little plastic connector that connects this hose to that hose. And see, now, an individual working on this may not have known, they may not even notice that, but I was looking around at the other four wheel drive parts and making sure that nothing wasn't messed up because I figured these inner seals were bad. Nope, I got a vacuum leak. So we'll fix that up. I've got those little, the little plastic splices in the, in the uh, bolt cabinet up there, but we'll get this U-joint out, put it back together, and this is a fixed truck. Uh, well, again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of it. Um, there's something to be said on, on working on your own stuff. I like working on my own stuff. Um, anyways, I, I try to do a little better job than, than some of the guys on there. I see some guys like, you know, blow and go and they're crazy and it's almost like they, uh, they're fixing it crazy for, for views or something. I mean, I, I enjoy watching it too, so no harm, no foul, but anyways, um, then here, let's shoot this real quick. Well, I got you turned on. Uh, let's see. Well, I wasn't prepared for that. Pub service? Maybe it's in there. Give me a second. I'm going to open up this deal because I know somebody's going to tell me, oh, that's not what you're supposed to do. Okay, so I told you this is, you grease this. This is a bearing in here. There's a needle bearing in there. So you, you smear grease in there. You want grease in there. You grease around this hub and this hub where the splines are. And as you can see, do they still show you? Yes, they do. Look at that. So you put your gasket on and your new O-ring. I don't know why. It shows kind of a weird orientation for a seal down here. There's no seal down here. This is your O-ring. Um, but as you can see, grease application, needle bearing, and your two hub drives. That's what you want to do when you have these apart. Um, I already scraped off my old gasket, put my new gasket on. I've got my new O-ring on for some reason. It gives you extra o-rings so um anyways but the kit came with the big o-ring for the hub and the the uh seal and new snap ring and all that but anyways i figured i'd show you that real quick but as i said that is the epitome of a bad u-joint so i guarantee you this truck is fixed um again thanks for watching like and subscribe i'm gonna get this thing back together so we can be ready for another snowstorm or a weather event uh, come Friday. It's, I don't know. I think it's Wednesday. Anyways, uh, have a good day. Please like and subscribe, comment. I try to get back to everybody's emails. I don't always do it. Um, I, I don't always get to every single one of them, but I do go through it every night, every morning. I'm up at like three or four o'clock in the morning. That's just my weird schedule. My wife hates it. Um, but I do go through them and I try to answer everybody's questions. So if you have questions about it, feel free to ask me. Hopefully I get to you. If not, I apologize. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Sorry guys. Didn't even think about it. Should have brought you out here. So I was sick of fighting that. We're torching it out, which does have to happen every once in a while. torching that cross out of there. Way easier than trying to fight it or bending the yoke. So, yeah, keep going here. I just had to get a hammer to get the flag out. I couldn't see anymore.
That was a bad one. So those were seized up so bad that they were welded in there. I don't love doing it that way, but uh, I actually know a guy that uh, owned and ran a driveline shop and hell, that's how he did you joints all the time. I thought he was nuts. But anyways, and a lot of times the heat from it, we'll go inside there, we'll make sure the yolks aren't crazy warm. They're not. Um, I don't want to be on them a whole bunch until they cool down. I'm not going to put water on them and let them cool down naturally. We'll get everything out of it and then we'll try to get the uh, caps out of it. They look pretty rusty, but some of that heat might have helped loosen them up. I'm going to go and spray them with the PB Blaster and try to get them done. I may have to come back out and cut these damn nubs off. I might just do that. These will come out, but the that part of the cross. Uh, I don't have anything I can grab it with out here. Anyways, but there you go. Sometimes that has to happen. Um, it, it is what it is, but they were literally welded in. I, I couldn't do anything with it. So let me get it, uh, let me get that stuff back inside and, uh, we'll get it sprayed with PB Blaster and I'll probably, uh, I'll probably go ahead and video getting the caps out because that's probably going to be an ordeal also. Give me a minute. 